So here is the next video on carburetor splitting and this is a NMV Augusta 175 Squalo. It's a five speed uh, race bike with uh, Earl's forks on the front of it. Um, we're just going to go through the carburetor splitting and cleaning. Um, I've unbolted it from the, the side of the, uh, the bike. Um, you need to, dis to remove it obviously from the cable and you do this through this clip as a part that holds the top on. And if you pull the top of that out like that, lift it up, you then pull this part out. There's a pin which secures through that castellation. And there's a little hole in the top of this here. And uh, obviously that pin stops the whole part rotating. So I can now then unscrew the top of this like that. And we can pull the top off it. And I'll explain a little bit more once we've got this fully disassembled. So we now have the slide taken out of the carburetor itself and we'll just show you the, the basic parts of it. You've got the brass part here which is the slide itself. You can see it's hollow and you've got a pin with a needle that floats to the bottom. You can see it's been repaired there at some point in time. Um, you have a little clip on the top here that holds the needle in place. You just pull that little clip out, uh, freeing the needle up. But the interesting thing to note here is that this device here is in fact the slow running idle adjustment and what it does is it pulls up this pin and release it from the car the other side to show you uh, there's a piece at the bottom there so as you pull it up as you screw the part up it actually keeps the slide a little bit higher up than it may ordinarily be which allows the slow running um, of the uh, the motor to be set so that is the slow running adjustment it, some people think it's a choke but it isn't it's basically pulling the slide up to the minimum position for uh, when you've got the throttle shut off 